Well, regular season basketball has finally made its way to Waco. All the preseason hype finally hit the court tonight at the Foster Pavilion for the long anticipated debut of Nikki Collins squad. The 12th ranked Baylor women's basketball team taking on incarnate word to open the season early on. Baylor trailing in this one five to two. Jada Walker drives and kicks to Bella Fontleroy. She's wide open beyond the arc. One of Baylor's best three point shooters last season. She knocks down the triple to knock things up at five. A few minutes later, triple handoff to Jana Van Guytenbeek quickly kicks to Dariana Littlepage Bugs, who wastes no time getting to the rim. Sweet lefty finish gives the Bears a two point lead. Baylor feeling it on both ends of the court defensively and offensively. Yaya Felder's active hands forces the turnover to Walker, who finds Littlepage Bugs running to the rim for the easy deuce. That play forces a timeout and safe to say Bruiser was fired up about it. Second quarter now Van Geitenbeek driving and drawing a crowd. The new kid on the block, Aaronette Vonley, steps up and drills the three to double up Incarnate Word 24 to 12. A little later, under four to play in the half. Little Page Bugs passing to Sarah Andrews. She drills the three ball, only 18 more to become the all time leader in threes as Baylor is 1 and 0 with an 85 to 33 win. Let's head live to the Foster Pavilion to hear from the Bears. The good coming out of that half. Just how important was it to kind of get in a rhythm of the game and then really put the pedal to the metal? in the second half? Yeah, I think, um, you know, one of the things uh, about Incarnate Words Princeton, Princeton Elbow Action is, you know, we were super disruptive, and we, we use a lot of energy defensively and had to defend most possessions for 20 plus seconds. And so, um, you know, I thought we made a lot of defensive mistakes, you know, in that first four minute stretch actions that we had worked on. Um, and they, they just do a good job of, of working the ball from one side to the other. And, and they're not always in scoring position, but you got to cut with them and run with them. And, and so I thought we were we just got more and more disruptive, um, not as much necessarily in, in picking up picking them up full court, but in the half court, really taking them out of their first action, their second action. And then I thought we did a better job, you know, when it got late in the shot clock of just walling up, not fouling, um, and rebounding the basketball. And when you rebound the basketball, you can get in transition. Um, and so I thought that was a big part of it. I thought the game was really slow in the first half. I thought our bench came in and, and changed the energy right away in the first quarter and got us in transition some, um, but I thought that that unit did a really good job starting the third quarter of, of defending, getting in transition, and then finding, I, th I thought Sarah had a couple nice darts to Nettie on the diagonal, um, you know, and I think when you start to, to move the D and manipulate the D, um, then everybody starts to get involved.